been to DFW. We're talking about Operation Kindness, and we are back with Jim Hannafy, Julie Goff, and Natalie Buxton. Some final thoughts. Jim, um, what are some of the reasons to go to a shelter instead of a breeder? Well, I, you know, I, I think these are, these are animals that are looking for a home, and uh, they make wonderful companions. Our mantra at Operation Kindness is adopt, donate, volunteer. We think there's, there's uh, essentially three ways you can become involved with us. Obviously, adoption is, is really important, finding forever homes for these wonderful animals who are just having a great <laughs> time this morning. Um, the other is donate. We, are, we, we receive no government funding, and so the, the money that we, we get from our donors and from our corporate sponsors uh, covers the medical care for, for the animals and the, the care, the cost of feeding of them. And of course, one of the most uh, important things, uh, and it tends to be that it tends to overlap, a lot of our donors become volunteers and also adopters, is volunteering. We had 35,000 hours of volunteer time last year alone. That's equal, the equivalent to 18 full-time staff. Our volunteers do everything from helping to socialize the animals to uh, helping us with special events uh, and providing foster care, which is absolutely essential for our animals. And uh, Julie, Operation Kindness receives uh, no government funding, so what's the best way or what way do you like to receive your donations? We are love individuals who, out of the kindness of the heart, are committed to helping homeless animals who donate, you know, anything from $20. That's, that's what we really need to help save more, more animals. Um, there's also really interesting ways to do it. People do donation drives for us. We have a wish list of items that we need the most. So you can yeah. donate an item. What are some of those? Um, things you wouldn't really uh, think about. We never can have enough paper towels. We love for all of our animals to have soft, cozy bedding, so we need to bleach and wash all of those items, so we always need bleach and laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. So those are some of our, our really big needs that we always need. Kitty litter, <laughs> really basic. Well, and so one of the huge things is, is man hours. I mean, you need people in the shelter because it is a no-kill shelter, and you guys have many needs right. throughout the day. What, what kind of people are you looking for? Well, uh, we have a variety of tasks in the shelter. Everything, you know, we obviously walking dogs while we're cleaning is, is really very mm -hmm. helpful, helping us in our cat room, uh, cleaning there. Uh, our medical facilities, uh, giving medicated baths is, a, is another thing that our animals need. So there's, there's just a, a variety of handful tasks. Some volunteers prefer to drop in whenever they, they can, and that's great. And then other volunteers will, will come in and actually cover shifts for us. Uh, so it's lots to do there. And then there are foster families because half of the animals at Operation Kindness uh, come from city shelters, often because they're pregnant or they may be too young for adoptions. So you have a huge need for foster families. Uh, tell us about the program. What we have is we have a network of about 200 homes. Mm -hmm. And what they do is we send out a foster flash via email saying, we have this mama kitten that's coming in, et cetera. They sign up. We give them the supplies, uh, keep in touch with them, give them training, which is really important uh, so that they know how to handle any potential issues that could come up, you know, with newborn kittens and puppies, you know, that's, you know, there's some things that you would have to learn. Also, we have volunteers that will take home dogs that might need a little bit of socialization. If they're scared, nervous, or maybe we want to teach them some basic obedience. What's so the process that people go through to determine whether or not they're eligible? They need to become an Operation Kindness volunteer. To do that, you can sign up on okay. our website, operationkindness.org. Um, you attend an orientation, mm -hmm. so we show you how everything runs at the shelter, mm -hmm. and then they can sign up to foster from there. Um, we'll generally also show them a foster, give them a foster orientation as well, just so they're fully prepared. We'll say that one of our priorities is to expand our foster care to help us serve more animals and also uh, help owners uh, temporarily who are in a situation where they might have to surrender an animal if it weren't for a place for that animal to go for a couple months. And so that's part of our goal is to expand that. All right, and so people who are coming out later today, they can meet Nine Eye, they can meet Surge, and Gordy. Gordy, are you guys gonna let Gordy go? I'm a little worried about this. Somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna be like, oh, I want, I want Gordy, well, and you guys are gonna be like, yeah. Hold keep it. in mind, we all work at an animal shelter, so our houses are pretty stocked full of animals already. <laughs> right. We, yes. We actually call it Happy Sad. We're, yeah. we're very, very happy that our animals find homes, and we're sad because we miss them, but we're really happy that they find homes, and we will be for Gordy. All right. 
Well, thank you guys so much for being here today. We wish you the best of luck. If you don't have anything going on this afternoon, please head out to the Operation Kindness event today, and you can get more information on that uh, on our website or at operationkindness.org. You can also call 972-418-PAUSE. And remember, these dogs need adopting. They will be there all day uh, or all afternoon later today. You can come out and meet them. It's uh, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Flagpole Hill at White Rock Lake in Dallas. It's going to be tons of fun for the dogs, for you, for, for the volunteers at Operation Kindness. Everybody is going to have a great time. There's going to be a lot of, um, I would say, arguing among people over who's going to get Surge, who's going to get... Doug? Gordy. 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 I had Doug the pug. I'm sorry. I just missed. And then and then Nai Nai is a great big dog. For if you're looking, if you can handle a big dog, got a nice yard, if you're into wolves, if you want to tell your friends that you have a wolf, just pretend 